Well, hello there. Welcome to another episode on Guys Next Door. And with me, I have this beautiful African queen. This all the way from Western Africa. Again. Please introduce yourself before we get back to the topic. Mm-hmm. So, my name is Imelda. Imelda, thank you. I'm a Cameroonian um, ma- a master student. Did you hear that? Thank you. Yeah, he you know that thank you. I'm a Cameroonian master student and an environmental communication professional. Yeah. See, I, I don't roll with anyhow people. Anyways, so on today's episode, hmm. we're going Gen-gen. to be talking about famous men and infidelity. Bam. Mm. What's your take on that? You know, I, I feel as though when when there's a certain category of men now, mm-hmm. that when they get money, they just it be like say their head becomes <laughs> coconut. <laughs> so it's not it's not it's not doing well inside. Like something is shaking inside. It's like they're not uh yeah, no they they not tied the knots well proper paper. So it's shaking inside. Especially especially those ones that don't have hair on their head. I'm not naming names. I'm just saying the bad ones, ones. Yes, it's like their skull is very thick. Once you have money, it's like the hair transfers into the skull. It just it dissolves. It's like it's like when the sun is heating, it's doing some other thing inside there. Exactly. But have you noticed when men actually have money, they start their hairline starts receding. <laughs> <laughs> it's, no, uh, uh, please. Apart from very few men that I I of have course. seen. Mm. The majority once the once they start having like small small change. Ah, it's yeah, like what's that going change, inside? There is the change and fame because I think fame plays a huge part. You know when I mean, how many men do you know that have money that are not in the fame? Okay, you yeah, don't know if, what's if you're not in famous, I feel like if you're not famous, there's that kind of yeah because you there's self respect. Do you understand? So it's like you carry that, yourself. What, what's your add fame to their ah. height, their name? That is the poison now. Their home training have entered the door spin. They do not even have home training in the first place. No, I think they have home training, they but they anything. did not they did not take note <laughs> when they're going you know, It's not because register. If you're in class and you don't take note, why will you pass the exam? Ah, no, that's true. But yeah, definitely. I think um there is a problem, mm-hmm. societal problem, that I think has to be addressed. Um and this is not even from a point of being a woman or being someone's girlfriend or it's just as a future mother is thinking okay if i have sons mm. how do i bring them up in a way that they don't attach their value to money because i think um with the with infidelity and famous men um you realize it's because they've attached look at davido for instance i, I know davido has always had money so let's not even use him two baba came into money before african queen the african queen was the, was the only african queen he ever knew he was okay no, no, and no, then no, when no. money I think, entered I think, this I think, I think it's very debatable because from what i heard from their story right he was and he's I mean, he what he was he is and he still will be and his first love but we have not refused now but Calm i'm saying for him but even when they were dating it's a serious relationship mm-hmm. he was that's how he, he had his children no but the children that's what i'm saying before the before the money came mm-hmm. because the money came after the song african queen that we all knew that's yeah. what i'm talking about it's the song it's not the annie so it's the song the song so after the song now maybe so the, the, before song the song propelled gave him more money more access and then fame and with fame he now said ah she be i'm a fine boy he's actually a fine guy he uh, i mean he's too I mean, bad what he's, too bad. he's official so he said, Shabi, I'm a fine boy. The only thing I needed was money. But now that money has come into the photo, into the picture, the photo. I can do any And people now know him because you can have money and because you're not and accessible people don't know to you. women, it's fine. But when, you're, when they are seeing you every day, they'll inbox you. They'll be sending you empty lads. Sending you stupid, stupid things. Uh-huh. Now you're like, okay, it's becoming interesting. Maybe at this point I can succumb. But so I think the fame... Mm-hmm. I don't think we can have this conversation and we just remove the fame. I think fame plays a huge part because there are many rich people that we know that are living ordinary lives. Even if they are cheating, we don't know. Like but the likes of... <coughs> <coughs> um, hmm. We shall not call names. 
No. It's not me. I don't say anybody's name. So if you come for me, you're on your own. I, we, we are just talking about famous men and infidelity. So if you think you're famous and you're bold and it kind of like resonates with you, anyways, well. And you have money. You can. Because there's fame without money also. For one night, people. Go ahead. I don't finish. So now, I want to, I want to talk about high profile affairs. Mm, the ones that we know. The ones that we know. Oh. Like, it's out there. Like Jeff Bezos. Let, let, me, say, let me say, like, my South African people. It's out there. <laughs> <laughs> Those affairs that we know, that's out there. The bald so, thing does not only... It's not only African, eh? No, it's not only African. that Jeff Bezos but is not African. You see, that's why I said, it's like when you have money... And they don't have hair. <laughs> the score becomes very thick. Because everything every other person is saying... <laughs> it's not entering. You just want to go outside. <laughs> now, why... 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 Will you have money and cheat? I don't know. No, it's easy. No, I've, I've never understood the concept oh, of having money. I have understood, my sister. It's very easy. Please explain. Because it's very it's easy. It's like, I, I need to be educated. Okay, let me educate this, you. This, this, this I'm not, topic. I'm not a, a, <laughs> I'm not a professional, whatever, an expert in infidelity or in men that cheat. I don't even know any. But what I'm saying is this, right? I think when you bring, and that's why I was talking about upbringing. When you bring up your son mm. to be provider, protector, interesting. However, if he attaches his identity, his person, his worth, his esteem to that, then it means the more money he gets, the more valuable he thinks he is to society. And he wants to make that um, almost like get money for, not get money, get something from that. And because we live in a society that highly economic highly materialistic materialistic and let's not lie to ourselves the women are not making it easy that you want to invite a woman on a date the first thing she say uh-huh my birthday is tomorrow as if she was waiting for you no first of all if you're inviting me on a date you have to pay for my trip you see what i'm talking about no because first of all i was alone in my house sleeping in fact in this weather no, but you now, cannot just wake me up and tell me I want to see you tomorrow, oh my darling. God, I have no. plans. No, I have plans to be in bed. No, I don't agree because guess, okay, if you don't want to be with the person, then tell them I don't want. To, like, don't take my time. Don't put me out there. You cannot come and share a good time with me because when you're coming, you're not entertaining me. Who we says? are talking. Have you seen me? Okay, then Tally. no. What I mean by entertaining me is you're not there for my purpose. No, I guess you decided it's a choice you made to be here. Everybody so now if like i have to food. i don't like i don't agree with paying for uber and everything when it becomes i i prefer that it's um it comes from the person let the guy say let me pay when you ask for it i'm like mm, okay, no obviously i'm not going to ask for it so. no you said yeah they have invested every day you have to pay my transport you pay but i don't have to ask you no <laughs> in this economy those men will pay <laughs> oh my sister so personally i feel like this whole okay wait i was talking about the money part yes yes let yes. me okay, continue fine so because we are in a very materialistic world it it doesn't help because the men also say okay i mean how many times have you heard that broke men should not should have no business dating <laughs> excuse see. me <laughs> see your life you see it, like in the insights of the within of your spirit you know it's true mm-hmm we we hear it and i'm not saying it's wrong i'm not here to say what you think is wrong or is right i'm just explaining what Discla- society is disclaimer we are not professionals so what, whatever we are saying we are is... professional opinion opinion givers but we yes, are not like that. experts that, that english in the in that, the matter that, yes <laughs> we're Thank not societal psychologists exactly so what i was saying is this right so you have this man who's already been brought up to think that money is everything and he yeah. has to find it and if you find it you get all the women i mean how many twitter accounts do we know who are supposed to be masculine and then they tell you men don't look for women look for the money women will follow so when you tell a man that you keep reminding him he's heard that so many times that's exactly what he's going to do he's not even going to find a woman to grow with he's going to look for the money and then when he I gets mean, the money i'm off it's oh, because Lord. i think it's because those men now not everybody and like 
not not all men actually are like that but those ones with those very very myopic mentality and ideology have already painted women in the light that we are all materialistic so if you have money you automatically attract a woman which i don't really blame them because even on the feminine side we have women that are like that once you have money it's like hi yeah, darling come yeah, here yeah, yeah. you get I so agree 100%. i don't think that all men think like that of course not all exactly. of course not all but at the same time i also want to believe that the home like you said home training your upbringing because i've been in scenarios where parents tell their kids all you need to do in this world is have money money buys everything mm-hmm. so when a child grows with that kind of mentality mm-hmm. fame on top, yeah. well, no button is over yeah. finish. and fame is access right yeah so it's like you have money because if you have money and no one is seeing it no one comes to you but when you have money and people are seeing it and the opposite gen <laughs> yeah the women of the ground <laughs> that is when you become like honey bee and bee and, and bee and honey eh, that one thank you yes. the combination they work together now so it's like fame is for me that catalyst that makes this whole conversation interesting because men some men cheat every day and some don't right mm. but the the um, the 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 center of this conversation the focus of this conversation is how money and fame transforms infidelity it's no longer because even infidelity becomes arrogant mm. it's no longer i'm sorry babe I, yeah. like it's like i beg i have money I, am i the like, first man to cheat am i the first man like what do you even expect you know look how you have grown fat like even the way that, that they are telling you, you know, the reason like, the reason for which the group is is, is 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 now sounding very entitled i'm like hey shut up was that, when I was growing fat, were you not sitting there and not saying anything? You actually said I was pretty. You kept telling me, oh no, but you know you're still beautiful in my eyes. Yes. Stupid. I was still... <laughs> Nonsense. Who hurt you? I... So, so the person is still beautiful in your eyes. And you're still out. You're, you're not you're going cheating. outside to meet somebody else and that is not as beautiful as that. Most of sometimes. the time. Most, not sometimes. Most of the time. The person... The side <laughs> hang. It's not as beautiful as she's the not. She's not only as beautiful, but she has, she's empty-headed. Beauty so you want you dreams. cannot even have conversation with the person. Yeah. It's just like, like really, bro. Like you could have, like I have standards, you know. I have standards. If you want to cheat, you want to do cheat, it just with right somebody that way. will not pay me because see, I'm telling you. And I'll be like, hey, I should work hard to be like that person. But you're cheating on me or somebody that. Okay, see. Okay, let's let's go back to the to um high profile. Mm-hmm. Um, celebrities. What do you mean that we are not with high profile celebrities? No, we are high profile celebrities. In the you mean that we are not that we don't that we we don't know no, high no, profile. I'm, I'm, because I'm, so let's go back as if we're not, <laughs> we're not be talking no, about we are high profile so celebrities. Time. But then I want us to like focus on their public <laughs> relationships, <laughs> right? So public affairs, not even <laughs> relationships. Take for example, someone like Davido, <laughs> right? Davido is a very high professional profile. scammer. When it comes to the to relationships, the yeah. relationships, hey, yes. hey, relationships. So <laughs> you are married to trauma. You now went to go and do something else. I, like I was trying to balance. Check balance? and balance. Yes, check and balance. And this check and balance is not, not balancing at all because it's not much. Trauma is pretty mm. natural. Get fine, babe. Crap. You now I have to go and look for somebody that does not just know how to keep quiet, control her mouth. And then the like, woman is not beautiful. I look at how it's like mm. no i think according to and like there's a lot of surgery here number one number that, two even your face is overworked but my problem, your lips and botox they look like brothers and sisters wow now I, I, like that, that's the thing like when many want to cheat you're like oh god go for something go for something when you look at shoma you look at the woman exactly tell her need how Tell her, man, she can't go far we, we, did, we did not, we did not know, we did not, <laughs> okay, know, okay. we did not, we did not understand the lyrics that he was singing. It was not after this, this thing half we had plays Rema. out. Then the Rema we had came. A Rema. <laughs> you understand? So personally, I feel like if you want to cheat, cheat with someone that is you can compare with your babe. Do you understand? As a high-profile person, go for somebody that first of all eh, is way better than first of all disclaimer don't go for anybody stay with your wife uh-huh, okay yes but then if you must 
there's like no this must. one. You must not do anything. Personally, I feel like most of most of the time when these famous men go out, they go for way less than what they have at home. Choma is very calm. Again, then you go you for somebody that does not know how to control her mouth, <laughs> her mouth, and does not know how to control very her impulsive. words. She's very, very impulsive, like, very, very defensive. Like, why are you hurting about my sister? Why are you boiling? Sh- and I like, shut you know, up! I like Choma because she's so quiet. She didn't even say anything. She didn't even say anything. And he's painting. I'm still waiting. She doesn't say anything. So my my issue Hello, is I haven't seen. No, Choma hasn't said anything. Actually. Yeah, but we are just using the video as an example. Mm. Must you cheat? As a famous man, mm. you know that there's fame, there's publicity, there's this, there's that. Mm. Do you really have to go out there? And my issue is with those ones that go out there and they make it public. Mm. Like, I just don't care. But who does that though? I, all of them are hiding. Who? I don't know. Like, who Who? who just doesn't care? I'm, okay, I'm not going to name names. Meet me after the podcast. I will show you. No, just, just describe. I might know who you're talking about. An actor. Mm, yes. No, the actor. Yes, the actor. Oh, the. By the way, she uh, unlike her, me, I like to call names. It's usually those she, she's talking about. <laughs> the guy did not hide. He said, "I'm gonna have a second wife." No, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said having that affair since hey, 2017. He said, he said, I will produce you. Call her my you will angel. be an actress, and I will marry you, and you'll be my, you'll be everything. And you're in my life, in professional, spiritual, the personal, everything you're there. Ev- Everything. And he did not hide. No, he didn't but hide. You see, it. But you see, for me, that's a good thing, for two reasons. It means he's not out there doing everything with with, with everybody. He mm. has found the one, and he was even. Is, is it, it is for it me? You know, Dolce is a different breed. Of because he was serious about the cheating. He wants a second wife. End of story. These other ones, they don't want any, any second wife. And it's not one person they're doing with. I don't. When you read. Uh, the video, the chat. Mm. You know, after that, some girl in Paris came out and said, "Oh, even me." Y- yes. Yeah, he also said, "Shabbat." And they have never come from all, from all over. You're like, hey, 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 what is happening? But you see, one thing I, I wanted to say to the points that uh, you mentioned is this, right? There are men because sometimes you understand the the job, mm. the profession. Like he'll not be traveling. He's on tour every now and then. He'll not be traveling everywhere with his wife. However, me, I like to call names. There's another about man who's doing the same thing, but he has, he has an argument with his wife. <laughs> According to what I heard him say mm. on some other podcast someday. Somewhere, somehow. Sheon Kuti. He's bald. Talk about Very him. bald. <laughs> He's married. They have one daughter. But then, in that, when I heard him speak, he said, with my wife, we know we have an open... An open. He's married. No. He said we, we, mm-hmm. we have an See, open relationship. You. What I'm saying is that that's a way to mitigate. It's not as if... Like now you're not cheating anymore. But it has to be you're from a mutual. The, exactly. You're within. We have understood that you will tour all over the country. Mm-hmm. You might even do three months. I don't see you. It's fine. Because you will be doing you. Yeah. So. It's, can I be eating chin chin? My sister be eating. So that's how I see. Like it's. It's. With this new. Like you can. Pick your battles and fight them. If you want to be a celebrity and you want to be a famous person, a famous mm. rich person, and you're not always with your family or, or always with your wife, you can either be like a Tony Elumelu where you're traveling everywhere with your wife, where you're seeing her everywhere with you, or you just travel by yourself and you have an, an arrangement with your wife so that you'll not be cheating over the place. Or there's another important information I'm about to, I'm about to divulge. There are agencies that provide side chicks for famous men. And those ones, they, they have training. Don't they have home training? They will never say it. First of all, whenever you are meeting, they don't have phone. They have nothing. Wow. They will never say anything anyway. It's a contract they are signing. It's part of reputation. Yeah, it's a contract. So if you ever open your mouth that you slept with this person, you're going to jail because you've breached the contract. This is that the people have figured out ways to, for you to for, to uh, to permit you to cheat, but you don't want. You don't. You want to. You want to be a naughty boy. And be David or two Baba. You see, David is even different. He has not come out and said it's the nature of men. Two Baba went and said it's the nature of men. I, I feel like that, that, was, that was where he crossed the line. Because I was like, no, Oga, you can't. And you, you, you did not only say it it's the nature of men. You said it's in front of your wife. It, and in front of other people. If you say it to her, it's In front fine. of your wife and strangers alike. First of all, why would you think it's the nature of... I don't think it's, a, it's in the nature of man to cheat. But I have heard, I still don't believe that, 
that men are naturally polygamy. Polygamous. I mean polygamous. How, well, however they say the English, mm. you shall get what I'm saying. Mm. But I feel like it it only takes a disciplined man not to go outside. With it your takes discipline to do everything in life. It took discipline for you to be no, here. No, in, 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 the, in the aspects of fidelity and infidelity, mm. if you're not disciplined, you will enter anything that Why has to be married if you're not disciplined. Don't marry. That's the topic be for a, another day, a, by the a, way. A player, a player for life. I mean, we know them. I know so, some, some men, even Cameroonian men in this country, who are wealthy. Mm. They have their money, they have their status, they have everything, fame. And they decided, you know what? I'm going to have children. If I, they meet a woman, they tell her, you, I like you. I like you to be the mother of my child. Do you want? We're, we're not going to get married. I'm not into that because I'm going to cheat on you. And very soon, I'll, I'll hear my name all over social media. That <laughs> I don't want it. So I'm telling you now mm-hmm. that I only want a child. And if we get the child, we will be co- we will co-parent. But you and I can never get married because I'm not into that. I want to do whatever I, I want to do when I want to do. Travel, do this. So I know them like they they are there. Marriage itself takes discipline. You cannot get into marriage and then you you start wanting to cultivate. It. No, you cultivate discipline before you marry. Uh, let's not even just talk about marriage. Just talk about the fact that even if you're in a serious relationship, you have to be disciplined Back. to stay to that to stay. What's it, what's the English? Stay faithful mm. to that person, right? So I don't necessarily because if you're not faithful to me mm. when we are cutting, mm. RJ we fuck anything in skirt and throws her anywhere, anytime when we get married. I don't condone don't, curse words. Sorry, but mm. you shall know what I'm saying. Anyways, what I'm saying is mm. marriage and discipline mm. are like twin siblings, right? Yeah. But if you are not disciplined before we get married. You cannot be disciplined in that marriage. Fact. Exactly. Now, I want to talk about... I haven't said that. I want to talk about how um, these public affairs have affected the dynamics of relationships in their homes and probably with their fans and kids. Mm, I think that's interesting. You know, when I look at... Um, I think it depends on how it's handled because we have different different um, scenarios mm-hmm. if you see David of, for instance has he said anything about it no he hasn't has the wife said anything about it nope so they're not well in the conversation is they tell and is the Anita I, I even feel as though she, she she wanted to use it she knew that it would give her something more yeah yes like you, I I I I just don't want to say this. It's Rejoice that made me say it. Me? Because me, I've not spoken about this affair since it came out. Too. But Rejoice, now I... she wants us to talk about bald men, and the one and the ones that you know. You see me, I'm mentioning names. I don't know how to keep it to myself. So I think it depends on how you manage it. Can, can I you see what Annie? <laughs> <laughs> you see someone like Annie. Annie, I think she's very emotional, so she has. She's spoken a lot. Yes, about She said it. a lot about it. And I felt like she got Choma dragged has for... Shut up. No, Choma is... She, she's Choma the whole level of, of about it. And I... Thank you. I mean, we can judge that in many... In many ways, right? Mm-hmm. But I would say that... Or even the unconfirmed case of... Um, would you be my lover? Yes. No. Banky W. Yes. The politician... Pastor, he's also bold. musician, <laughs> okay, you're everything. But he's bold too. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying now. He's bold now. That's why I mentioned him now. Because he's bold, he's famous, he has money. The only thing that is not very confirmed is whether he really had the affair with Niola or not. Because it's people are there. Niola was Niola. his ex. But now, the, you do not see that it came up the other day that that uh, that he has cheated on his wife and and the she's lady. pregnant yeah, yeah and the lady is pregnant. pregnant now this, because people you see nino last started the voice nigeria mm-hmm. she did not finish on the show so people are like uh-huh. they are putting you see people Ca- are very wait, quick join, join, media join, to join me and two two together join join me do you have water i do Cheers. my sister i do topic for another day <laughs> topic for people that have money <laughs> and fame so um this infidelity now that we're talking about yeah Should you have, oh. and this for the high profile guys the effect on how has it 
after, do you think the psychological effect is more on the fans? I think it depends on how it's handled. Because you see, for instance, like what me. I was saying is Annie, mm-hmm. and that's why I, I brought out these two different women. Annie is very emotional. She's very outspoken. Yeah. You know, probably impulsive as well. So she put her heart out there. She was telling everyone like. I'm I'm hurt. My family is hurt. Don't say this. My children, you know that that kind of thing. And she she was still supporting her man. So I think on her it might have taken a different psychological toll than it took on probably Chioma, who hasn't said anything. I'm not saying it's deeper or not. I'm just saying it's those are different. I I think they've been affected differently by the same um, issue. Hmm. And um, and for them, I would say honestly, seek therapy. Because me, like us that were in normal life, yeah. we're not on any so Okay, apart from just some, some some people here as celebrities, some of us are not. So now that our lives are not on the social of the media. I'm not on the social of the media, by the way. You're a celebrity where? Ma? <laughs> <laughs> I needed to ask the question. Ah, may I know you're on the social media? <laughs> Anyways, I was saying that if cheating if some if uh, cheating is committed and it's mm. private i think it it's it, 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 you can easily deal with it but we still know people who've committed suicide because they were cheated on and that's and many people didn't know about it yeah imagine now being cheated on and seven billion people know about it i think that's really that's really hard and it's managed differently mm. so that's on the personal side when it comes to the fans now see these men opening their dirty mouths those that don't have money, you. <laughs> you see, men that don't have money, they don't have fame. They'll be opening their dirty mouths and talking about two baba. Are you two baba? Do you have money? Do you have fame? Yes. Do Do you have the money? Do you have you the have fame? You have nothing, and you're the one uh, trying to. What's the word? What are you trying to do with two baba? Marinate. Ma- they like shut and up, serenate. bro. Go and look for money. Nonsense. You're the one say like don't talk about it because now they are they are they are taking it to use it as bulletproof. Mm. See, and you see, men are like that is their nature is our nature. You you don't have money, you're cheating. Someone that has money is cheating, you are compared. Are you stupid? Ah. Are you mad? What are you comparing? That was from a personal <laughs> that, 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 No oh, that, that was actually very personal. I'm passionate about everything I say, and those who know me know that I'm passionate about everything I say. So I put my heart into everything. But that's how I see it. Like it had this sort of effect on um, on people, especially the men, where they use it as a blanket to cover yes. and, and 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 also say yes. That's why we cheat. Men are like that. You are not men like that. Men that have money and men that don't have money are not they like are that. They're not the same. Brother. In fact, they're not. Yeah, it's, not it's, the like, it's like the ones that don't have money were backbenchers. Yeah. In class, mm. yeah, the ones that have money, mm. yeah, the ones in front. Mm-hmm. So the teacher is teaching, all and the, all the information attention. is remaining it's there, in front, just yeah. in front. Then do you know understand? The, and you know, it's it's so appalling that the broke ones are the ones that are very opinionated. Vocal. It's them. Very vocal, like, bro. It's them. Take a chill pill. It's them. So, and then uh, on the women, I think mm-hmm. on, on our side for society it doesn't really help because it it makes us feel as though Insecure. all men are like that yes you know you tend to lose hope especially if you're a woman who um Who's hasn't who hasn't like had um um bright days in relationships so you, you haven't fallen in love or you haven't met someone who's loved you the way that you're supposed to be the more you come up with this the more these stories um replicate and the more these sort of examples come up the more you just you feel as though you're doomed and you know there's no hope for the other gender not for yourself because all men are cheat anyway and that's why we see even women say yeah all men are cheat just expect your man to cheat because we we've seen so many examples of one prototype and we think that it's been okay. replicated yeah we think that's normal so I think these are the different effects that I, I that for me. I was actually going to on, talk on about society. that. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm glad that you mentioned it because I was going to talk about how um, this room, this rumors, and these typical celebrities mm-hmm. have, you know, mm-hmm. tarnished the image of a perfect relationship. Yeah, do you understand? Mm-hmm. So you you that's why you find kids or 
young ladies say i don't want to get married i don't want to be with this guy at the end of the day he's going to cheat with me yeah. i actually have this mentality that every man is a cheat especially when they have money especially when he has money <laughs> yes <laughs> I, no, even the producer I'm, 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 I'm is accepting. Honest. Even the producer has accepted. He knows that even him is inside. Yes, but I don't think all men, is, all men, all men. Yes, are I used to think all men are cheats. Yeah, I used to have that mentality. So when I'm going into a relationship, I already have this at the back of my mindset that well, every man is going to cheat. That's how you come and tell the story. Mm. But then it's because of the things I've seen, mm-hmm. and it has automatically built that war now me going into a relationship i would probably ruin that relationship because i already think that it's already psychologically built everything that the man is doing you're, Everything, you're, like, you're analyzing over and then you're, analyzing. Sus- you're over suspecting mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. do you get mm-hmm. it's already there because there's there's a it's not like a standard but there's there's a pattern that, that you've seen i've seen and that's replicated, replicated many over times time. yeah not yeah. just me yeah not just you know mm-hmm. and i was with someone and she said that oh she'd rather even have three different sex partners everywhere she goes so that she's not heartbroken that's called coping mechanism she's had to build that she's had to develop over that, time that, yeah, because of the experiences she's had but that's just cheating in general and that's very bad oh my god so you're also cheating as well you that is against the cheating you're a cheater yeah the cheater no, and the cheating she, she's become one because of what she's seen so it's not it's not i mean there's this conversation like around on, 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 on yeah there's this it, there's this um conversation on on social media um not now i mean just generally yeah whereby um they say m- reasons why men cheat reasons why men women cheat and they try to compare you don't know who started cheating <laughs> you cannot determine who started and who followed because well, some, sometimes, sometimes you say oh the women cheated she cheated because her husband cheated on her so she wanted to show him that she can do better than him and then the man will, will, will say he cheated because when he was nice to women have you heard that thing when they say hey nice men come last <laughs> So when he was nice to women, they took him for granots for chin chin. No, don't, chip, don't, chip. don't, don't say chin chin. We're eating chin chin. <laughs> they, they took him for they took him Leave for, our for, alone. for chip. So now he decided ah, Gary and the Coco. next relationship. Oh no, we are hitting the streets. I am cheating. So that's how we don't know who started, but I think that's a very cheap, lame excuse to cheat. You can't yeah. say cheated because someone cheated on you. Go and heal. Shut up. How? What do I have to do oh. with this person that cheated wow. on you? Yeah, I heal and shut up. Like two baba now. Well, is he going to say he cheated because I need to tell him? It's not him that has seven I... kids all over the, all over Nigeria. Uh-huh. At least his own is Nigeria. The video is going it's international. international. <laughs> <laughs> so, the video is on home and away. He has taken the touring thing too serious. Yes, actually, he has gone to America. He has, and he has, he has gone to Europe. Paris. I'm telling you, he has toured to another level. Like, people are touring, music touring, he's touring, sex touring. He's spreading baby his, touring. See, see, when 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 it's, it's like when God said go into the world and what? Hey, he took it on another. Ah, he took, he took it, it to another personal. level. That that was a very personal hey, mission. My sister, he took and it. At this he point, said he said God, I am your see, given son. Let me. I am taking this. It is my mission. Let 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 let's give David a let David a brief. <laughs> let's talk <laughs> let about. Let you let him not suffocate. <laughs> yes, let him not suffocate. Let him breathe. <laughs> let me There's this breathe. one that is not bold. But that ma- I, I've, I've not understood. Nikanon, he has 12 children. In how many years? It's like, I'm going, it's like we're going to do another podcast for that one because <laughs> we have to, we have to envel- no, like hey. talk about each child and each mother. But you know what? In how many years? How do you have Nikanon? I've not understood. How do you have two children in the span of eight months? So, <laughs> let me not do the math because the math is not math in my ma- head. No, it is math because I've seen it. Calm I've down. It's it. not the same person. So I, I you, know. You I'm, I'm saying I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And away at the same time. I've seen it. That's what I'm saying. I've seen it. Huh. It's happened. Like so, I know this man who has two children. Mm-hmm. They were born in the same year. Yeah. So if you see them, so people call them twins, but they have different mothers. 
so like and then one was born this month the, the other was born the next month when i was asking the girl because i think she's eight or ten I, I, or eleven i've forgotten i was asking her she was telling me oh i speak to my brother blah blah i was asking her she said yeah it's my brother but from a different mother <laughs> <laughs> i was like i don't think she understands <laughs> no she has, she has I no was idea like, in my head I, I i did the macron what she told me it was shocking information do you understand i was like yes, what's this that she's telling me I was like, wait, 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 it's your father. You have your your brother is my different mother. Your younger brother. In my head, I know that it, it takes at least nine months, you know, for a normal. Birth. Normal, yes. It so, means he was frequently, and do you even know what's what's bad? One was born in South Africa, the other was born in Nigeria. Ah, <laughs> it's not the same country. Can I sip water, <laughs> please? I can't. So the guy impregnated the woman this month in South Africa. Then he next month he went to Nigeria. So, genge. Wait. So my twin brother. Check and balance. I want to. My twin brother is my younger brother. Yeah. He's not. Yeah, he's your twin because you're born in the same year, and you're and you you have the same age. But he's he has. He's, a, he's he has my a, Irish twin. Yeah, he has a different mother. My Irish twin is. So oh. even we thought it, it's only Nicanon. It's because Nicanon is famous. If not, I'm sure it's plenty in in this outside. We just don't know. It doesn't mean it does not exist. What? I'm telling you, when I saw that case, I had to sit and and, and I know the man, so I looked at the man. I said, "Yes, Oga, no. you have done well. Not for you, <laughs> you have done well. <laughs> you have, you are perfect." I was like, "How?" Because in my head, I'm like, okay. So this one is giving birth this month. You've gone and you sat next to her. You, you, you're welcoming the baby. She's not even aware that someone else is pregnant. Somebody else is pregnant. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to give birth in how many weeks? Next month. Like three weeks after <laughs> you. Okay. Ah. Mm. Money. See. Sometimes I want to say money is the is the devil. No, but but then but other it's... times I remember that even me, sometimes I have money, but it does not mean that I'm the, that I do bad things with it. You see, the thing is, so. even the Bible says money is the root of all evil. <laughs> is the oh, is the it emphasis on evil? Now, having money is not bad. It's not. It's hey, how please. you handle. By it. all means, have it. How see. You can't, I, I, can't, I can never be If you don't know, find love, at least find, find money. Because <laughs> what do you have to, to show for yourself? One of the two must work. Mm. If you don't find love, find money. Mm. Now, uh, before we, because we are about to round this session. What are we rounding up? Hey, the conversation is so interesting. Hey, my sister. No, I'll, no we're about to round up this session. Then we'll take a break and then we come back. Okay. Yes. So, now, before we take a break, I want to ask this question. Do you think that the media blows these inf- infidelity rumors out of proportion or do you think they give adequate justice to it media you know, when, you I, say, money, when I say media i'm uh-huh. talking about social media now you know you need money to make money mm. and also, like that's on that that's self-explanatory right now if you know someone that has money and they commit a scandal you use see they have money you have used money you propel that out there it becomes the main story you get money because you get more following. People know, oh, if you want to know celebrity gossip, go and follow Insta blog Niger, eh? We know. People know I, I if you want no, to. No, 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 no. Pause Insta, Niger. Insta, 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 Insta blog does not even give current gist. Is who? Go and follow gist lover. They call oh, yeah, yeah, gist, gist lover. Gist lover. Yeah, gist lover. Yeah, my yeah, mother gist says, lover. my mother says, uh, gist lover is a ghost. Because, because we don't know who it is. We don't know who it is. And they've tried. But they have gist. And the gist is very factual. Not only is it it's detailed. They are the ones that brought out the need the the Niniola thing and Banky W. It's them. That's when I first That started. when Banky W went to you recently like this. That's when he went and impregnated because she has not been on on the night on the voice Nigeria. I'm telling you, I heard dun, that story. Dun, dun. I was like, yes, we have detected. So people are going to school doing training to, become, journalism. To, to do investigative. Others are just skilled at it. So yeah, I I. What was the question again? Before I lose. Oh, media. So, yeah. Yes, I think, but I don't think that's something to be blamed because we blame the media for everything. They are doing their job. If anything happens, we want to be aware to get informing us. Okay? So, the only problem is how they sometimes misrepresent, misexplain, you know, disinform, misinform, malinform. So, it's just like you're oh, seeing a lot of things. Tell us how, sense. tell us the thing how it is. Yeah. Like, I think there's, um, is it Nairobi gossip? There's Nairobi gossip, then there's Kenya gossip club. That Nairobi gossip, 
sometimes you read information you're like this thing is not even newsworthy yeah because again what's you know with news and information what's and, newsworthy and, 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 and what is not newsworthy and what's on the media you have to understand that if something is trendy i mean they have to wrap on they have to hop on the trend yeah. lest they die because that's the thing with media these days if you're not giving us what we want we'll, we'll not follow you and if i want to know when this person was frolicking with this other person <laughs> you gotta know you gotta know true, yeah. and you have to be aware you have to be informed so you can my only problem is give us the right information mm. don't say things that are not founded mm. have factual sources such that before you come and tell people that anita has slept with this person and the guy says she make sure you have facts actual you have facts receipts collect the receipts and so that you're them. giving us factual and then you're not because we have a, a huge problem with bloggers and celebrities yeah bloggers would just wake up and say nonsense anything you have heard weird things on talking makinua i'm like eh, eh, are you not tired let the woman breathe let the poor breathe let her not suffocate anyway so yeah i think sometimes the media blows things out of proportion but you know we have to be informed plus we are behaving as if we don't want to know the information when they they bring it because we know they, they know we want because when they put it out there first five minutes five thousand likes who is who is who is liking yeah. who is liking it's not you people uh-huh. not us it's not anyway. us <laughs> anyway we're going to take a short break and we'll be back with more tea to discuss What do you want in a studio? Welcome to Guest Sky Entertainment. Is it podcasting? We got you. Is it live performance? We are the best, the very best. Is it recorded? Where would you rather be? I tell you. <laughs> Welcome back to Guys Next Door and I'm sure you're wondering why we are all covered. I know. Nairobi is 19 degrees today but it's a very very cold day. In fact, we've not seen this one in the past three days. Mm. Anyway, so um, our topic today was famous celebrities and infidelity. And men especially yes and those ones that don't have hair on their head all those yeah, ones yeah. so um moving forward actually act- before we move forward right you can actually partner with us at clear sky entertainment and this podcast is probably sponsored, sponsored. by Quest Sky Entertainment. It's a studio. You can come for music recordings for your podcast, for your YouTube. You know, we can change the background. We can customize it for you. So yeah, we'll, you'll get all the details in the description down below. This exactly. video. So please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want to partner with us, you can reach out to us on our email address which will be in the description box down below as well so moving forward why do you think these men or these celebrities do what they do especially the men those ones without pain i think there are many reasons right i think there are, <laughs> i think there are really many reasons and i think um when you look at the entertainment industry mm-hmm. it's a rough industry and i'm saying rough because I, i'm a fan so i have even when you look at the people we've mentioned the two babas the the videos all these guys you, we expect a lot from them and we we don't necessarily measure how that weighs on them and yeah. what it means i'm not justifying anything i'm explaining the difference cheating is never accepted but we can understand um that you know there's a lot of pressure societal performance um, um, pressure and all of these things and you can feel as though you you have a partner whom you want to sort of protect from this life and then you don't tell her these things you don't tell her when you're insecure you don't tell her when you feel lonely you don't tell her when you have 
all of this pressure and you have to deliver, deliver, deliver. And then you find yourself in a, in a position where you have to deal with yourself and it can, it can um, push you to abuse alcohol, abuse drugs or uh, abuse sex. So just sleep with anyone all the time. And I, I think that's one of the reasons. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know how there's a direct correlation, but I also know human beings, you cannot understand them. So it's like, what, what, what are you really trying? What are you trying? It's just, it's just, it's just there is the environment mm-hmm. and then that's part of what makes you the person. So if you if you are in an environment, like look at the video, the guy is, is always working with at least 30 people. 30 billion gang. So 30 you see like, that's a lot. And all of these people have expectations of him because he says he's the one that fits them. He does, of course, they contribute to him being the artist that he is, but he has to do all of these things for these people. And um, maybe, you know, he's trying to uh, uh, um, um, protect his woman from this lame light and from her being too involved in this business. And maybe there are some things like there's just some things that that people don't explain to their partners. And when that weighs a lot on you, you you're looking for another um sort of source of um uh, i don't know what's the word i know (laughs) some source of shelter comfort you know that kind of thing and whatever works for you man so in this case turns out to be extra extra (laughs) extracurricular activities (laughs) (laughs) extracurricular activities or extramarital affairs and i think that's one of the reasons another reason as we said before was the upbringing Mm -hmm. And how, you know, if you've trained a man to attach external validation yeah. and um, finances, money to his self, to his image and self-esteem, then of course, when he gets it, it's only when he gets money that he thinks he's valuable. So then he wants then um, coupled to the societal narrative of men must have money. Um, broke men shouldn't be, be involved in dating my sister run away from broke men all this messaging that has been packaged and overly diffused overly broadcasted makes doesn't help so you have that and then you have the upbringing of this man you put all of that together recipe for chaos like you rightfully said but i don't know as i want to put it in for english it's not Englishing. So the English is not Englishing. Plus, first of all, English is not my first language. Exactly. It's not supposed to be. Before a person go do something, mm. I believe, say, if I don't think and for your mind. Mm. So before you start having ex- extra marital affairs, mm-hmm. I've been want to talk extracurricular affairs. Extracurricular activities. <laughs> exactly. Before you start having extra marital affairs, you must have thought about it. Mm. Not in a practical form but you might have had an image of this girl what would she look like well like things you would want to do they do it now you see when someone's walking there on the street so just i don't believe the, that the this, and they'll be telling uh, you how they've already uh, they've already thought about talked it. about the 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 they are, don't be normally, normally and they are passing i'm exam. a very innocent woman by the way so these things are things that rejoice and her friends talk about i don't partake in such conversations but i know <laughs> but I know, but I know because these men they talk a lot, and they like to boast of how they they know positions. And mm, uh, they yeah, always know positions. Things. So when they see Thank you, they already, they already know. Like you see a man, I don't know. One day we are, we're digressing a bit. One day I was talking with a man, and then he said, when a woman has a piercing on his on her tongue, mm. he can imagine the things she can do in ah. the bedroom. I was like, oh God, how how does that? She she just wants to be beautiful. How now is that? He's, and then the next thing he said, even mm? the women that have uh, this gap, gap to tear, he said the wonders he can do. I was like, ha. Wonders? I, I don't like, that. Okay. It just gives you two straight lines, two parallels. You see, now you're thinking too much. I, w- I told you I'm not part of You see? I said I'm not part of the conversation. No, I'm just, She has I'm already just, visualized I'm just, everything. I'm not being practical. I, I like to imagine things. So you say you have to gap things. <laughs> Normally, I even imagine how they bite apple. Hey, please, hey, my sister. How do you bite apple? It's okay. With your Let's gap. go back to the... To the okay, yes. Because okay. you like this. <laughs> if we joke here, you take us to places we don't want to go. That was icebreaker. So, what I'm saying is, in as much as you're a celebrity, you have fans around you, 
right? The same way Rema was performing the other day and then flinging bra. He will obviously imagine. So before he now starts thinking of cheating, this is this is um, a thought that's accumulated that's over time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then men have this. Okay, most men, not all, by the way, most men mm-hmm. have this attitude where they will accumulate things. Then one mistake should we do? Bam. <laughs> it's because you. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So most of the time, I feel very bad for their spouses because it is what what they face is an is a result of the accumulated thoughts mm. of these men mm-hmm. so half the time these men don't even know what they've done wrong that's true how about women who intentionally push their men to cheat how ah those ones they have wait a special oh, wait, wait our producer is saying something very interesting how there are women who intentionally probably by their attitude there's there are a lot of women who after they're married they become someone sometimes there are women that when before you marry them they're nice they're this they're that so because they know they're trying to acquire the home so once they've acquired that what home, happened to divorce ah divorce is, divorce divorce is not an option divorce has to be, but divorce it's has an to option be, it depends divorce has to no, be no 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 wait divorce has because to be our producer so the infidelity has to happen no so we are the ones who okay. actually go and then separate Separate, no, don't separate. Go to therapy. Do something. Don't okay. cheat. No, I, I think I, I think I get where he's coming from because there are some women that will intentionally push you to do things. How? Yeah, Is the intentional that I, I want to understand? How are some women? Feel, some I've I've heard come. I've heard people talk about relationships and they're like this guy is too good, so I want to do something to trigger him. First of all, a man can pretend, but the day he stops pretending, you will hate yourself. Now the thing is, when you don't appreciate a man, it's different. But there are women who intentional. It's like they, they derive joy in just pushing you out of your comfort zone. Let me tell you something here. Unless this woman mm. has put you here, has put a naked woman here, there is no intentionality. Last I checked, you're a grown man, adult, who made the decision to propose to this woman. So it means you can you have all your thinking faculties. They're working straight. But some, now some, you are some, not going to tell me that so women were sent woman, straight from the pit of hell to frustrate your life whether they were sent from the pit of heaven or purgatory i don't care is you the man but at the end of you answer to your actions there's only so much a man can take gosh what is there's this only so saying? much even a man women can okay take. now women who are vile with time because mm. w- when you say changing she might also be changing because this man is actually a very useless man so so now she has changed like mm-hmm. he's been tre- this man has been treating her wrongly or wrongfully whatever and she has changed she's become this vile woman who's insulting who's not cooking who is at, at whatever that you you think your woman is supposed to be doing she's not doing it and she's very hostile so the home is supposed to be peace tranquility it has become battle of war uh whatever man or war camp we are not looking at what it took for her to get there we are just saying she has become vile she has become this She's not, she's not, she's not gentle anymore. But sometimes... How did she become... When so, she was gentle, what did you used to do? Calm down. Now I'm that not, she's I get your not point. gentle, what have you done? The, the, and so now we will allocate that to her pushing the man to cheat. Yes, no. The man does have a, a, a mouth. Open your mouth and say, this is not you're doing. I don't like it. Open your mouth and talk. Tell this person you have changed because like you it's, you actually rightfully said it before sometimes these women develop you know on becoming manners mm. the men will not talk they'll go and cheat and then when they ask him what is he say ah she's talking she's talking to me as if i, I was her, i was her friend she's no longer doing this how does that concern me but then you know- i slipped out of the, the the our understanding how about you hold me accountable by telling me it's been a long time since you could but then me. there are women that learn from outside do you understand now those outside influences have now because it's probably because they are jealous of you or your happiness then they start sowing a seed of discord then you then still don't cheat them, on your wife you separate her, no, but that's, that's, that's what i'm saying right but that's as but you know be wood i uh, see you separate you tell her if we remain here with these habits I will cheat on you. So I'd rather leave this. It's easy. I don't know why people like to make this thing complicated. 
You just separate. You leave the relationship. Mm. You tell this person, when we say love, I love, love is, you. Love is not as easy as it's not supposed to be easy, Oga. If it's easy, it's not good again. When you say, <laughs> when, when, when you say, when you say, if, he do, if she does this, then I will. I don't mean divorce. I mean like okay, as we'll long as it's not you're something able to huge. Get yeah, back. because sometimes. What is the separation? Wait, exactly. No. Hey. Because now you have separated. No. no. I said I've gone. So I will now. I will not beg you. We are talking about love, eh? Yeah. We're not talking about those who are settling for people. When you love someone, mm-hmm. you will not want to lose them. So if your partner comes today and they tell you you've been doing this thing for this number of years, and I've been telling you about it, mm-hmm. you're not changing. I think my remaining here is enabling you this bad habit and you keep doing it. If they leave and you really like this person, you will you not know adjust. A- apart from going after them, will you not adjust? Mm-hmm. You you will want to change what it is that you've been doing that they don't like, right? If you don't change, then that's when I, I divorce. First of all, I don't know why people do people say divorce now. It is a very much option. It very in fact, what <laughs> the marriage exists because divorce exists and divorce exists before because marriage exists if people could not divorce they would not they would not get married in the first place wow. okay That's... so if it's no longer happening if it's no longer doing you the way you want it to be doing you separate when they're doing it's the not doing thing. you well, separate when they're doing is not doing you separate as the first thing if they don't uh, take it to the, if they don't rectify correct their mistakes Divorce, Joe. What is that? Send me Ohana. Because now you come and cheat on this person, and you're giving them PTSD. Trust has gone low. Do not trust you again. And this month you said dance to check your phone. Where are you? Because you've cheated before. Something that you could have avoided. Now you guys are in a toxic relationship. No one is helping. There's no love. There's a lot of I don't know walking on eggshells. You even you the man freedom that you had before you cheated. You don't have it anymore. In your own house because you cheated something you could have easily fixed by talking to this person and saying there's this now you're doing i don't like you're not supposed to be a marriage counselor like this i'm supposed to be normally normally in my other life i'm supposed to be so normally in your other life. just that communication is taking another do you understand i get you i get you okay so moving forward this whole mm, english english is not english is skipping my head Okay, with this whole th- discussion, that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? have you noticed that these infidelities have a way of shaping relationships of the fans of these people? Mm-hmm. Because now, somebody like Nick Cannon, mm-hmm. I'm sure he has people that look at him as role models. <laughs> Why did you laugh? Not because That's of not his nice. job, but because he's, he has 12 kids. <laughs> with, no, because with of, no, it, it will start from his job. But then the way he lives his life. Haven't you seen people? And the, yes, there's that. But you see, Diamond is not bald, right? Yeah, he's not. No, he's not bald, but he used to behave like... <laughs> like, like leave that discussion for another day. But okay, that's someone like Nick Cannon. You, you say that he's living a very lavish life and he paints this picture that all his baby mamas are okay even they say the baby mamas right like he takes care of them Hansi, both of us know that it's not possible to be with a mind and <laughs> that and was very sharp yes and you're having babies back to back so there are times that he wants this man's attention. The other person wants his attention. In as much as you no, guys feel like you're okay. Now. All of them now. It's big mamas. But he started from marriage. He was still married to Maria Carey when he cheated. And that's why she divorced now. That was why it led to divorce. Now people feel like because he has money, he can afford to do this. So most most of his fans would want to get money to that extent where they can do anything yeah that's right true. yeah that's an effect. i have heard during, during that um tubaba scandal where they said a banker got pregnant for him mm-hmm. and stuff like that i actually heard somebody on instagram say that tubaba is his role model mm-hmm. and it's better to have one in the house and have a way <laughs> like tubaba the one in the house will accommodate all your children now that's what i'm talking about when you have that mentality, your kids automatically 
inherit that kind of nonsense psychology because they believe that if my daddy can do this and his role model can do this then it's not wrong mm. so now we start recreating a cycle of this of a very very distorted generation mm-hmm. you know distrust mistrust exactly insecurity um wrong priorities yeah so in my opinion i feel like in as much as the media has a way of covering the stories there's still a downside Mm. to this kind of lifestyle Mm -hmm. do you understand you can be a polygamous man but nobody will know but as long as you're in the limelight i feel like you should live in accordance to what you're you're always singing love 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 but there's no love in your home live live this song you sing not what you preach because you're not preaching Mm-hmm. Do you get? Mm-hmm. So, my point is for these celebrities that are out there, your fans look up to you. Do you get? Mm-hmm. There's a way you would want your sister to be treated, and there's a way that these celebrities paint relationships. Mm-hmm. So, it's perfect at home in quotes mm-hmm. but it is very very scatter scatter outside mm-hmm. yeah so that's what i'm talking about the impact of this mm-hmm. narcissistical behavior yeah on the fans now let's talk about that same effect on the children do you think that or what's your opinion on that let me not, let me not phrase the question it's, it's going to be an open-ended question what's your opinion on that kind of image out there and um your children see some, someone like david he just welcomed his son congratulations david and Chioma. now this boy is going to grow up to see those things he's going to know that's how stars do oh jesus christ that's how stars do wow when we have money that's how you do yeah, and so for kids you... like that how how grave do you think the impact is? i think it's it's it it depends if let's say my father cheats today and i learn about it it's not on any social media mm. so like no one is it's not on the media it's not anywhere do you yeah. understand but i still feel bad i feel for my mom for the type of father especially because when you're a woman and i'm a firstborn when you're a woman and you're a firstborn your father is your first he's your, your romance, he's your everything your hero you you just want your your boyfriend your husband to be a replica of your father because you think he's the best now when you learn from that type of close person that trust was broken that the trust was broken it indirectly might break your own trust in men in the gender yeah because if because your father might think he, he he cheated on your mother he doesn't know how that has distorted your image of him very true in your head mm-hmm. so now you're thinking to yourself the man that i i trusted i blindly believed i loved so much i i thought he was my god you know all of this if he can do this how about any other man that i don't even know mm-hmm. that's why some women have daddy issues either the dad was not there or he was a serial cheat or an abuser or a bitter just daddy issues in general so there is that on the boy child i guess depending on how the father behaves also after that you know if um and i can't really speak for a man but i'm trying to i'm guessing i'm imagining that if your father cheats on your mom and your mom is i mean she learns about it Mm -hmm. and now for now we're still talking about out of this limelight because i I want to drive into the limelight um and your mom doesn't say anything about it like she doesn't show that she's not that she's not happy yeah with the fact that your dad cheated and she says that's how men are you the child who grows up you're going to grow up with the same mentality mm. the man and um you see your father also providing so you will know as long as i provide protect i marry one woman put, okay. uh, put her inside the rest i can do whatever i want to do i'm allowed to but if you have a woman who speaks up and says no i'm not taking this i'm leaving then the man knows. Okay, I can cheat, but she can leave, and we, and I will. Am I, have am broken, I willing to risk it? And I and we will have and I will have broken our, our Bond. family. So that's how I see things. Mm. Now, when it comes to the limelight, 
there are those issues that i have brought up and then there is the fact that other people expect stuff from you mm. so there is what um your par- you expect of your parents and then there's what your parents expect of you then there's what other because you're in the limelight now the fans the haters what everyone expects of you so when your father has cheated people are waiting to see especially when like the more you grow they'll either tell you in class or like i i, I keep imagining how um ani idibia's daughters, daughters feel yeah. because they even have different it's their father but they also have mother. other siblings and other siblings from other from from, from for, yeah from other women so i'm I, in my head i'm like that must be a lot to take in first of all you have other siblings that is is in the limelight but your father is still cheating on your wife today i mean not today i mean when that story came out right i think i felt really bad for them because they have to deal with the fact that their mom has been cheated on mm-hmm. and they have to deal with the fact that their mom has been publicly cheated on yeah. and they have to deal with the fact that people are insulting their mother on social media for standing up for herself for standing up for is that, that was not for herself <laughs> for standing up for her marriage and for the man mm. and 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 you you also have to bear because you're reading they are on social media they have phones they have access you also have to read comments about how bad your dad is how yeah. he's a bad man how is he i mean just everywhere i don't use Spreading graphic things. words because i don't even like to use them but it's just the things you can read and how those affect you you know maybe uh, it can also lead to mental issues for the kids as well yeah because you know their parents are already dealing with their own stuff because the whole family is online any edibia's daughters are also celebrities because they have mm-hmm. um I, i think one of them has a fashion brand and then they are brand ambassadors and then they are also actors they are, yeah they are started. so you know everyone in the family is on the, is on the media of the social yeah so everyone is facing their own so you as a maybe the 13 or, or 14 year old girl is seeing that her father is facing these issues her mom is facing so who can she talk to do you understand so mm. when she's getting all of this pressure from from everyone from the media from friends from even from family members like who am i going to talk to if even my dad is going through it mm. she, then she can de- develop her own mental health issues and i i i think for the male child it's only worse so that's how i see the um, consequences of this behavior on the kids yeah okay so to wrap it up um this discussion actually uh do you think that the public opinion has a role to play in the forgiveness of the spouses no no i think it's just sad that we are in an overly opinionated not even op- i mean the world has been opinion from day one but we are in an overly photographed world mm. where everything where you sell an image mm-hmm. you sell a lifestyle you s- everything is sellable man just package them put it out there we're going to buy you want you want you, you want we or the other So because of that you have people who live their entire lives on social media. And then now the public is kind of part of it. Because if you've built a relationship, if we met you you were single, like uh, by we I mean through social media. Yeah. We met you you were single. You started dating this person, you, we know. You, you, we know. We know how we know where you guys go for holiday. We, we know, know how many children. You know what you we did last night. In the we know which dinner which restaurant you went to he, he took you to for dinner we know all of these things we also built a relationship with that person and so whether it's legitimate or not whether it's valid or not our opinions are there we are not asking you we are giving it that's why people are asking Ani Dibia to divorce exactly even though she's saying that one is Yabangaya and Yaoi I'm remaining in this relationship This is my man. This is my first love, my only love. The only man you I don't ever know. Love. And and then I hate this excuse. You don't know what happened between two of us. You don't ah. know, but you are, we are seeing what you are showing. My sister, what we know is enough. What we already what know. What we think we know. Yeah, what you think we know. Is enough. Is enough for us to make our opinions. So I don't think it's valid, but I think if you give us um cards to play, you shouldn't be surprised by the I don't think it's valid, but I think if you give us cards to play, you shouldn't be surprised by our game. Whatever you you see us play with those cards, 
it's you take it gang gang end of story do you understand that's what that's how i i i feel about the public's opinion anyways personally i feel like the public kind of influence decisions but then the sole power is on you as the culprit mm. so at the end of the day cheating is bad don't cheat <laughs> don't cheat at all <laughs> by all I'm, means cheat my 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 rich famous brothers what see we are being sarcastic Emma. oh oh yes yes, <laughs> yes. i can be slow sometimes don't cheat if you cheat you're your own especially those ones that don't have hair so he's trying to do transplants like Ike Obuna. Yeah, he's wearing a wig. I, I, it's like men have wig now. They, they've been having now. Exactly. So anyways, we've come to the end of the podcast. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you click on the bell below so that you can get updated on the things that we are talking about. Right? Yeah. And also, let us know what you think in the comment section about this topic you know what do you think about infidelity and famous men famous rich men you know that's a phenomenon that's becoming every now and then we hear one story today we hear this person tomorrow is this other person so what is your opinion about it did you agree with anything that we said did you disagree let us know in the comment section so if you like what we do you enjoy our podcast and you want to partner with us kindly wholeheartedly yes with your god-given heart <laughs> and your right? god-given finances exactly <laughs> send us an email on the email in the description down below and you can see really now we, we in fact we love to bless your screens you can so clearly you want us see to that english is not english in, down in, is already you below you understand what i'm saying <laughs> just um reach out to us on an email and we'll get back to you Thank you. Bye. This podcast is brought to you by Clear Sky Entertainment. Where is it? Yes, this is us. Bye. Bye.